Hello, my guppies. Welcome from the deep. Here you are in Grandma Mermaid's Grotto. Today I have a story for you called Hotel Deep, Light Verse from Dark Water, Poems and Paintings by Kurt Cyrus. Sit back and enjoy this lovely tale. Hotel Deep, Light Verse from Dark Water, Poems and Paintings by Kurt Cyrus. We're going to watch this little sardine as he figures out what to do. And this is so pretty. This looks like my house. You guys haven't been, well, you have been to my house. You just haven't seen the outside. At the crossroads of the deep, a place to sleep, a place to hide, a place to keep your eyes wide open. Yes, we're open. Come inside. Ripples of fear, the flash of a spear, evasive maneuvers, a marlin is here. Zig, now zag, now dart, now swerve. A blur of sardines hurtles into the curve. They swivel around and go into a spin, then scatter like sparks when the hunter swoops in. A quicksilver blizzard. Look out below. Where did everyone go? One sardine apart alone. Welcome to the mystery zone. How do you do? Who do you eat? Have you been chased? Glad we could meet. How do you taste? How do you do? Won't it be wonderful swallowing you? They all want to eat him. Look at all these guys. Crayfish, crawfish, single file. Down the aisle a column goes. On tippy toes advancing quickly. Silent, prickly, armed with many barbed antennae, sharp and shiny. All the spiny lobsters trust the guy behind because they must. I'm a stone, a simple stone, overgrown with crust and weed. You can see I'm just a stone, not a stone fish, no indeed. Just a random chunk of rubble at the bottom of the sea. I'm as harmless as a bubble. Who could be afraid of me? Trust your eyes, I'm just a stone. Come in closer, then you'll see. <laughs> Look at him. Looks just like a rock. Curtains of barnacles cling to a door. Open before, now crusted and shut. Nobody comes to this room anymore. Gnarly old barnacles block up the door. They pull in their heads at the sound of a stranger, ever a quiver, though never in danger. Barnacles keep to a world of their own. They shut every shutter, then nervously mutter, No comment, not present, just leave us alone. These are all barnacles. The angulated wental trap in alabaster white is one of many enemies to any sea anemone. If it sees anemones, it always takes a bite. Anemones regenerate, so everything's all right. A winter trip. At a glance, a calico scallop looks to lack a thing or two. No fins to swim, no legs to gallop. If you scare a calico scallop, what does the scallop do? Well, it startles, it snaps, it claps and it claps and it goes pumping and pitching and swooping around and then looping the loop as it clatters and clacks and goes lurching and plunging, then spiraling, spiraling, spiraling upward and bouncing off clack, bouncing off rocks and it stops and drops and makes its bed wherever it plops. In a small secluded den, an octopus's eggs are hung. She gently strokes them now and then. The mother never leaves her young. She never eats. She doesn't stray. She watches with unblinking eyes. And when they've hatched and swum away among the scuttled eggs, she dies. The angler flaps her fleshy flap. A shrimp comes in, the jaws go snap. The angler doesn't have a clue why shrimp come in. They simply do, and so she eats them. Wouldn't you? The belch of a blowfish, the bark of a seal, the murmuring tire, turn of the tide, the walloping, wallowing yawn of an eel, the silence of ships that have died. 
ripples come racing on crystal blue rollers with tidings from far and wide. When waves of fear roll up my back, I gulp and gulp. My body fills, I swell into a prickly sack, bulging out at the gills, a billowing bladder of water, that's me. I do what I wish and I dish it out double. Look out, I can whip any fish in the sea. Not that I'm looking for trouble. Puff a fish, love them. It's the fate of every flounder. First of all, she'll travel. Then her face will twist around her till she lies a 20 pounder sideways in the gravel. A flounder's eye starts on this side and comes around over there. It isn't a dance, it isn't romance. They're clutched in a grip lock grab with never a chance to retreat or advance. There is no letting go of a crab. Slow moving paddle boats rowing away. Turtles away so long. So long is the journey you're starting today. It's time you were going, we wish you could stay. The ends of the ocean lie far, far away. So turtles away so long. Lost and lean, a lone sardine haunts the doorways of the sea. Please, has anybody seen a million other fish like me? Slower than slow is a sea-going snake. The fishes all know he's amusingly slow. But turning your back would be such a mistake. The snake is a stalker. He sees where you go. It's you he's been watching. He knows where you hide. He saw you come in. He may be inside. Around any corner hidden from view. He's somewhere. He's nowhere. He's here. When little white parasites blister our skin, if worms pay a visit and stay, someone is waiting to welcome us in to nibble our troubles away. Life in the sea offers little that's free. There is always a devil to pay. But we can depend on our blue ribboned friend to nibble our troubles away. Little parrotfish. Crayfish, crawfish, never slowing, must be going, must be gone, marching on, antenna twirling through a swirling seaweed curtain, never certain what will follow, all are swallowed by the sea, swallowed up in mystery. Silent night, deepest night, tiny lights like stars in motion, twinkle in and out of sight. Has the sky become the ocean? Stars that gobble, stars that bite. Twinkle, twinkle, little nipper. Watch those ripples, douse that light. Here comes deep sea, Jack the Ripper. When you wish upon a star, wish it won't know where you are. Around and around in a flash and a swish, a fish is a rock, is a plant, is a fish. Mackerel, manatee, halibut, hake. Oh, what a crazy mosaic we make. A puzzle, a dazzle of dizzy surprises, a jumbled up tangle of colors and sizes. Throw them together and give them a shake. Mackerel, manatee, halibut, sardines. Oh, look. Look at all these guys. You have to look at them all. There are just so many. Tell me if you know what that is. And look at that guy. <gasps> sardines, 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 sardines. He found his buddies. He found his school of fish. Look how many they are. Up we go, away we glide, around the world we sweep. Swirling currents, rising tide, cheek to cheek. Again we'll ride the crossroads of the deep. The end. 
those stories make the world go round, don't they? Let's see who's watching today. Oh, there's Jack and Anna East. There's Danny. <laughs> so fun to see you guys. There's Barbie. There's Mike. It's so fun to see John and Gina. Thank you for listening today. And remember, you can contact me on my Facebook page, just called Grandma Mermaid. Get in the group and leave some comments. And remember, there's no place on earth I'd rather be than under the sea with you.